everybody. I hope you guys are all doing wonderful today. I have a book review for you guys and it is on One Day by David Nichols. Um, I gave, the, I think I gave this book a 5 out of 5 stars on book read, um, book read, good reads. Um, a 4 or 5. If I didn't give it a 5, I'm going to change it to a 5. Anyway, this book was wonderful it was so so great it was so lovely um it was it was awesome it was it was it was really really good i like this book so much i'm gonna go buy my own copy that's how much i really enjoyed this story um first of all the book is about this couple of course um who meet up one day one day and that day happens to be July 15th, 1988. I think I have the year right. And um, But what's so odd about it is that they meet up, but they don't hook up. And what I mean by hook up is, I mean, you know, they don't make out. They don't end up having sex and all that crazy stuff. They, act, they, they get drunk, but instead of going forth and doing other things they actually spend the night talking together getting to know one another and um um sharing intimate details about their lives and about themselves and things like that um so that being said it left them a little awkward and um they didn't they never formed a relationship they never got into a relationship but they ended up becoming really 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 close good friends like the kind of friend where you can read their expression and know what kind of day they're having like really really good 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 friends um over time now i think what the novel the title significance is is that um is it it, it relates to how the novel is formatted um each chapter starts off on that one day, July 15th, but in a different year. And it's chronological, except in the end, it gets out of order. Kind of not chrono, whatever. It gets out of order, like timely order. It's late, I can't talk. Um, but throughout the novel, it goes year after year. Like the first chapter is July 15th, 1988. And then the second, July 15th, 1989. So on and so forth like that. And on this one day, something, something semi-significant happens. And it makes them think of each other. Even though they're, um, they're in contact with each other almost daily. Sometimes they get out of touch and they get back in touch. Like friends do, you know, who live apart. Um, but anyway, yeah. Um, but, but, let's see, why I love this book so much is because of the characters. I can relate to both, um, Dexter and Emma, um, that's their names if I didn't say it already, Dexter and Emma. I can relate to them both. Um, Emma is really, she's bookish, she's very conservative, very quiet, um, highly opinionated. And Dexter is exact is the exact opposite. He is wacky. He loves to have fun. He loves to drink, go out and party and dance. And he loves people. He loves being the center of attention. And um, so it's it's funny because they they really play off of each other. You know, with Emma being so serious, Dexter is annoyed with her. And with with Dexter being so crazy and you know out there, she gets annoyed with him. So you know, it was fun reading about that. Um, also, the just the things that they go through over time, it's like we meet them when they are in their early 20s. And by the time the book ends, they are nearly 40 years old. And that is a almost that's that's half of a lifetime. Like a, like that's a that's a long time and a lot can happen and a lot has happened to these to the two characters in this book during that time. A lot of things that will cause you to grow, a lot of traumatic events, a lot of um things you have to deal with. Life. Life happens to them. And um and that's what makes this book so amazing because you get to by reading through their lives, you get to see how life changes them. Like how certain circumstances, situations, you see how they change as people. And it's a beautiful thing. It was so wonderful to read about this. It was highly emotional. Um, some parts were a little sad, um, a little heart-wrenching. And some parts were highly funny, very hilarious. Dexter, was he was very funny, very arrogant, and um, 
he just put his foot in his mouth. He said whatever was on his mind half the time, which and it was not smart. Whatever came out of his mouth was he Dexter was was funny. I'll just leave it at that. Um would I recommend this book to to anyone? I would not. Um I would I, I think it's for more mature audiences or mature mature audiences. God. Mature readers. Um but not because of sexual content or anything like that. This book is it's not like, you know, graphically sexual or anything like that. It's just that I, I it has mature content. And by that I mean it, it kind of deals with them as older adults. So they go through adult problems. Things like um, bills and careers and money and issues and things like that. So I would say, me personally, I would say that that may not be... Um, the most fun thing to read about if you're a younger reader but I mean you know maybe maybe you may be a mature younger reader and you could actually relate to this you know who am I to say that you wouldn't but um but yeah this I would say it's uh, some mature content and um, a lot of emotional depth in this book um, and it's just it's just lovely it's wonderful I, I really liked it um I've heard there's been mixed reviews about this book I would say that they probably would say that because of because of the tone, and sometimes it, it it can get a little over descriptive, I guess, of um of what's going on with Dexter and Emma. Um, it's funny because we we get to see all points of view. It's like one minute we're in Dexter's mind, then the next we're in Emma's mind, but it's not told in like alternate points of view. They kind of weave in and out of each other. So it kind of takes some getting used to as you're reading it to try to, um, you know, figure out um, David Nichols' writing style and, you know, figure out the world of these two people in this book. Um, but it's a beautiful story and I totally understand why they would want to make it a movie. It is a tearjerker and all that nice stuff. I kind of don't even want to see the movie because I already have in my head, you know, my own characters, what they look like, how they dress, how they act, the way they eat, and I really don't want um, a movie to mess it up. Like, the last couple movies I saw that, that were books that I read, it's just kind of really blew it for me. Not blew it, but you know, it just gave me, it's like a bad, left me with a bad taste in my mouth or something. So I almost don't want to see the movie. So I think I'm going to hold off a little while, maybe until it comes out on Blu-ray or something, because I really love the story and I love my own characters and I kind of don't want to see the movie because of that. I mean, I love Anne Hathaway. I think she's fabulous, but you know, I don't know. This, this story touched my heart. It really did. It was great. Um, I say, you know, go check it out. Go check it out. Definitely. So. That was my little review, and um, I will definitely be buying a copy of this soon. I loved it that much. It belongs in my library on my bookshelf. Um, next, I will be reading Going Bovine. I have not started it yet, but I plan to start it soon. And I hope this is just as good as One Day by um, David Nichols. So that was my little review and as always I will see you guys next time. Bye.